Hi, good morning, my pirate and sailor friends. Today's lesson in boating is tying off standing rigging. So uh, Deadeye, Dimitri, and Leon, our film expert, will be up there in the northern delta fog learning how to tie off standing rigging today. Standing rigging is important because it holds the mast in place so they don't fail when you put up the sails and it needs to be done before we install the new block shell wood pulleys and the uh, new running rigging for the sails and boom. Myself, I am uh, spending most of the day on the computer trying to find out what tourism like is in Roatan Island and uh, locking down a corporation, talking to attorneys and harbor masters and finding out what fees and regulations we have down there to run and operate a pirate vessel in the waters of Roatan. So uh, anyways, uh, we just found out it's one of the most exclusive uh, vacation spots up and coming out of 20 in the world with some of the best beaches noted in the world and coral reef diving. So looks like our adventure from Booze Cruise may uh, entertain some snorkel diving on this event. We'll let you know after we're done rigging how our standing's doing today. I have a good one. Instead of going conventional and just tie it back tie and lash and rope, uh, most brigantines had galvanized cables, so we went a little ultra modern and put a uh, U-bolt on there. And what we're doing now is putting a crossbar in there instead of lumber, so it lasts longer to stabilize the base on the rattling. So we're wrap uh, Dimitri's wrapping this with hemp to hide our modern U-bolts to keep the authentic look of an old ship given the rat line stability at the base so when we do set the uh, standing rigging uh, they'll be like more like climbing a ladder than a, a loose wimpy rope that's uh, getting weak on you. This is how you tie it. A barn style. Well, today we uh, thought that with the overcast and the fog down here that usually is an everyday appearance in the uh, California Delta up here in the north, uh, that not, not much work would get done. So uh, Leon and uh, Dimitri were actually thinking about getting their nap on, but uh, apparently <laughs> yeah. the sun has came out and Captain Ironballs, they call me, decided it's time to get your climbing gear on and get your uh, butts hustling up these masts so we can get our Viking slur on and get these masks done so we can start uh, completion on our rigging uh, and outfitting the vessel. And today was a good day. We found out that we have been invited to uh, start our uh, charter business and our filming business for veterans and first responders out of Mahogany Bay in Roatan Island, Honduras. Uh, and I'm uh, actually right now speaking to an attorney and two locals I know to actually start setting us up to uh, operate out of there as a charter business. So that might be our permanent location here in the near future. Uh, we're getting Panama costs and the rest of it figured out now and our legal fees to start up a business down there. So they have some of the best reef diving in the world. So we'll also be carrying snorkel gear on board while we're down there. And it is a pirate island. I've been there before. Uh, and uh, we are a pirate ship, so I think uh, we got a pretty good play going there at the Mahogany Bay Resort. Cool, kick ass. Well, let's uh, let's see what work we can get done today and keep rocking. All right, man, you guys are on it. Back to the importance of the Viking slur, the linseed oil, pine tar, and uh, gum turpentine. Uh, th this is like the most important thing that we can do on this vessel at this point is to make sure that we get uh, these coatings on here, which could be up to six to eight coats sometimes. 
because uh, it preserves the lumber and the last thing you want out on the high seas is for a uh, mast to snap uh, or a bowsprit to break because the weather has taken the lumber to its toll. So right now for us to be able to put the new rigging on the boat, this is like I said, the, the most important asset to the rigging adventure on the vessel right now is to make sure that they are coated very well. So it's imperative that you go slow, take your time, and uh, make sure they're done correctly. This is how you, uh, how you get access without a lift. Finish up up there, and we'll check back in in a bit. So here I am up on the crow's nest, towards the stern, and got this one uh, with the biking slur up to there. He's up there. Look at him go. Soaks right in. Playing pirate today. Good shit. It's cool to see how it just soaks right in there. Yeah, making good progress. The sun came out, it's a beautiful day. Right out here, the Delta in California. Well, we had sun all day, uh, so we took our Viking slur of pine tar, lin uh, boiled linseed oil, and gum turpentine and put the last few touches on most of the wood. Uh, uh, basically, we have one more coat on the main mast rear and uh, top coat, uh, two, maybe one or two more coats up on above the crow's nest, and I think we got her whipped uh, to where uh, we can start getting some rigging done next week. I've been on the internet also all day while you guys were up there doing the high stuff before I came down to do the low stuff. Um, and we have a new uh, potential home in Roatan uh, Island, Honduras which is adjacent to two other beautiful uh, tropical destinations for most vacationers. Uh, beautiful weather, and we're working a deal with the uh, Princess Cruise Lines and um, Carnival right now on uh, a home base in Mahogany Bay Roatan uh, Island, uh, which will be doing snorkel dives, reef dives, and uh, booze cruises for the happy people that want to come down there and party. And then our off-season time, we'll be filming our TV show, uh, Pirates of the Devil's Gauntlet, helping veterans, first responders, and the funding off of our escapades as a booze cruise and a uh, snorkel dive is gonna help us pay for our adventures with the veterans and the first responders so we can keep moving forward without uh, having any liability risks of uh, going broke. <laughs> <laughs> well, as soon as we get the uh, uh, standing rigging completed, we'll be starting to insert the uh, new uh, wood shell block and tackle pulleys, uh, the new line, and getting ready to set the new sails on board that we have on board already. So they're all brand new sails, blood red. And then uh, once that's completed, then we'll probably uh, do the decks next after that. I'm not too worried about the detail uh, work. We can do that in dry dock when we put the underwater LED lights on the boat and uh, get our survey done uh, before we head. Uh, and then we'll be heading down the uh, uh, south out of the San Francisco Bay uh, and port jumping all the way along the California coast to give some enthusiasm to all you pirates in port and land lovers. I'm also a uh, four-time USCG uh, shipbuilder. Uh, that means U.S. Coast Guard register for charter for hire, which is the hardest license you can get on a boat. Uh, I'm pretty good at this stuff. So if you have any questions and you want any, uh, leave it in our comment box, and I'll uh, answer questions if you're building a boat or need potential help on anything or 
oddball questions on uh, things you'd like to do to your vessel, let me know, and I'll uh, get back to you shortly. Um, anyways, uh, uh, enjoy your journeys. We're going to enjoy ours. <laughs>